Hello engineers, welcome to the new video of the course and in this particular video we are going to understand the block diagram of an op-amp. So we need to have a brief idea that what exactly is present inside an op-amp. So for that you can clearly look over here this is how the op-amp looks like okay kind of a triangular like shape some you know some of the students call it as pizza right pizza is triangular in shape okay I mean one piece of pizza. So you see over here inside this particular op-amp there are three important components or there are three major important blocks that are present okay and those are as follows that is differential amplifier block then we have voltage amplifier block and then we also have an output amplifier block so uh, you see over here as I had clearly mentioned in case of a symbolic representation as well if you could remember over here I had written over here as well that we have one differential amplifier inside the op-amp which uh, which forms the input stage right so if you could remember when we were studying the in, uh, differential amplifier course there I had clearly mentioned that we can actually give two inputs to the differential amplifier and those are these two inputs right so over here as well you can clearly look over here that uh, we have one differential amplifier which is the input stage and then we have one uh, obviously a, a voltage gain amplifier which will uh, you know uh, uh, increase the gain of certain uh, signals okay that we are fetching to the input side and then we have output amplifier that means uh, it will ensure that the output impedance sh should be as low as possible and there are many more things to focus upon while designing this particular block we don't need to go in that detail way as I had mentioned that we just need to understand the basic idea or we just need to gain a basic idea that what exactly is the uh, what exactly are the components that are present inside this particular uh, blocks of an op-amp so this is how internally uh, the op-amp IC looks like so you see over here it is clearly mentioned that let me just uh, show it to you yeah this particular block it is nothing but a differential amplifier say so this particular block okay and we are taking inputs from this two particular uh, area you see over here inputs I'm taking from these two particular areas okay then we have gain stage as you can see we have a voltage amplifier so basically it is nothing but a gain stage so this particular block is my voltage amplifier block and then we have output amplifier or the output stage you see over here output amplifier or the output stage okay and then we take output from this particular pin so this is my or this, or this particular area so whatever the output that comes it will be on this particular area okay I hope this particular part is clear so let me let me just write over here so that whenever you will refer my uh, PDF you should not get confused that what exactly is the voltage gain and voltage amplifier basically these both concepts are same thing okay so uh, you see differential amplifier so this forms my input stage this is present at my input stage okay the middle stage is nothing but the voltage amplifier or the gain state so this is nothing but the voltage amplifier stage okay and then this is my output stage or the output amplifier output amplifier I hope this particular part is clear and then there are other things as well that is capacitor and short circuit protection as of now that is not uh, that important let me proceed further and yeah there is one more uh, block you know in some of the op-amps in case of IC741 as well we have this particular block and that is nothing but a level shifting stage block okay so this is responsible to you know increase the uh, uh, DC uh, DC voltage as well so if I'm providing one volt of signal at the input of op-amp so I will get uh, maybe two volts three volts it depends upon you know uh, the application so basically op-amp can also amplify my DC signal as well because if you could remember if you could remember I had clearly mentioned let me let me go to that particular slide mm, where it is yeah yeah you see gain bandwidth product okay so basically I, what I wanted was that my bandwidth should be uh, infinite right my bandwidth should be infinite okay and in, pra in practical scenario I want that my op-amp should be able to amplify this particular signal that is 1 to 20 megahertz over here as well uh, they had not mentioned yeah but yeah uh, uh, 1 to 20 megahertz okay and if I if I talk about the uh, DC signal DC signal DC signal has frequency of 0 Hertz right so somehow op-amp will also be able to amplify this particular signal as well okay because it has only one frequency that is 0 Hertz okay I hope this particular part is clear so op-amp it will be able to amplify this particular signal as well because you know I had designed this particular IC or basically designer who is designing this particular IC he will keep in mind that uh, the bandwidth should be from 0 Hertz to uh, 20 megahertz. you know in some IC it will be 1 Hertz to 20 megahertz. but 
overall the idea is same that is a zero hertz okay so like zero hertz and the one hertz there isn't any difference right so my open is able to amplify uh, the signal which has uh, you know less frequency or zero frequency ideally okay to certain megahertz 20 megahertz 30 megahertz whatever that is right so that's the basic idea right and you see over here this is the uh, pin diagram of uh, open that is IC741 and these are the stages you see input stage is nothing but my differential amplifier then we have intermediate uh, intermediate stage that is my voltage gain state or, or the voltage amplifier and then we have output stage that is the output amplifier which I had clearly written over here right great okay now let me uh, proceed further and let me just show it to you and don't get panic by just seeing this particular circuit diagram I know it's little tedious to understand but I'm just explaining you or I'm just showing you this particular part you just have a look over here where it is by the way yeah you just have a look over here if you had learned differential amplifiers from me so you can clearly look over here this is nothing but this is your differential amplifier and you see this is the current mirror circuit right so uh, we are using current mirror circuits and all in the op amps okay and then we have voltage gain stage you can clearly look over here which is responsible to uh, amplify the voltage that we are getting or that rather that we are feeding from the differential amplifier so if you look over here this is my non-inverting that is uh, v plus or vp whatever that is and this is my v minus or v2 whatever you want to say right so i'll just write over here vn sorry uh, vi since here is my inverting input and this is my vn right because uh, uh, it, it will uh, sorry sorry extreme sorry yeah inverting yeah so it will it is responsible to uh, provide the 180 degree phase shift inverting means 180 degree phase shift non inverting means 0 degree phase shift so I'll just write it for you all guys 0 phase shift and over here I will have 180 degree phase shift if you look over here we have these two inputs right inverting and non inverting so basically you know these are the terminals of the differential amplifier you just have a look over here this is my differential amplifier which is connected to current mirror circuit CMC right okay and this is the active load if you could remember this all of these things we had learned in our, our previous course of differential amplifier right so that's why if you uh, you know try to uh, uh, recall all of the things you know this is how I actually tried to explain first what we learn we understood semiconductors then we understood diodes BJDs FEDs then we uh, designed certain circuits based on that uh, for example differential amplifier I had dedicated course a uh, complete course of around 12 to 13 hours on differential amplifier so you see how exactly I'm teaching to you all guys we are going from basic to advanced level right okay so this was all about the uh, you know internal circuitry or the internal blocks of the uh, operational amplifiers okay see whenever you are learning something it is very very important to learn its internal structure as well or the internal components as well because that will actually help you to understand the things in detail generally what you will see on the internet is that we have inverting inputs non inverting inputs right but why they are present okay this is the reason because we have differential amplifier and there is one more reason that why we are using differential amplifier that I, that I won't explain you in this particular video okay that I will keep for the next video don't worry about that I'll explain you this particular part as well that why exactly we are using two inputs or rather why exactly we are uh, using a differential amplifier uh, in an open okay so this particular reason I will explain you in my upcoming sessions so make sure you stay tuned for that okay so thank you for listening to me patiently I'll just end up this particular video over here if you have any any sort of doubts anywhere you please make sure to ask me in the communication section okay thank you